welcome you on MongoDB video series. In this video tutorial, we are going to talk about a couple of uh, basically uh, MongoDB APIs. First is how to limit the records and second, how we can skip the records. Yeah. So first of all, let's try to understand the concept behind this. And finally, we'll jump into the practical example. Yeah. So first of all, uh, sometimes uh, in your DB, right, you may have uh, millions of record, but you don't want to fetch all of them. Rather, you want some limited record to be fetched, right? Uh, for that purpose, right, uh, we have a limit method uh, in a MongoDB, right? And this method usually accepts one number type argument, right? Uh, which is nothing but the number of document that you want to uh, select or display, right? The basic syntax of a limit is something like that DB. You have to, first of all, you have to connect with the DB and then you have to write DB collection name and then find and uh, finally you can uh, call limit method on it and by passing some number yeah similarly next method i would like to talk about the skip method right so apart from the limit methods right uh, there is another method is called skip and that also accepts a number type argument and used to skip the number of records right basic syntax of a skip method is db collection name find limit right and then skip so directly you can call a skip like a db collection name find and directly you can call the skip so how many records you want to skip right while selecting and skip also can be called with a limit method as well so let's try to understand through an example yeah so here uh, i am connected with the db is called my db if i show you all what all collections are projected currently in this db so if i do show collections then three collections are there right now uh, users i'm going to select data from the users so i will i will do db dot users dot find and it will select all the data present in this collection right so as of now we have a uh, four data or four documents i would say in terms of nosql now here i'm going to call first of all uh, limit I don't want to fetch all four records rather i would like to limit right? limit the size so let's say i want to fetch only two records so i'll say limit and uh, just i'm going to pass the number two and it will fetch only two records here you can see right here few things you have to keep in mind whenever you basically call the limit right then here you have to pass the number as an argument otherwise it will throw some error saying that mongo invalid argument error right and saying that uh, limit requires an integer yeah so now let's uh let's say if you want to fetch and 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 one more thing let's say your db has only right now my db has only four records but if i specify more than four right then it will fetch all the records right that makes sense right now now uh, let, let's call so i'm going to specify let's say four and i want to skip let's say three records right so i just i would say escape and i would say three so first three record would be escaped right so here you can see so initial first records will be escaped so let me show you so, so if you see the data right so only last record uh, has been picked up and rest of uh, first three records has been basically escaped right and again, uh, one thing I would like to tell you, uh, when you call the skip method, right, then of course you need to pass that some number integer, otherwise it will throw error saying that skip requires an integer. Yeah. Now, uh, one thing, one more thing I would like to tell you, uh, skip method directly you can call after find. It's not necessary you have to call with the limit, right. So if I would say skip and let's say I would say two, right, and it is working perfectly fine, right. So this couple of methods is very handy when you want to select a limited records or sometimes you want to skip some records right so that's all i wanted to show in this video tutorial i hope uh, uh this series uh uh you are in, the, in this series you are learning uh mongodb uh, uh with passion right and definitely it will add some value to your career so thank you so much and uh, do subscribe kk java tutorials if you haven't uh, subscribed yet